I'm Brandon, along with Nathan Scott. Thank you for joining us on Facebook, YouTube platforms. We wanted to give you an idea as to what we can expect for the rest of the afternoon heading into the evening and overnight hours. Uh, we have talked about a threat of severe weather and uh, that looks like it's unfolding. They've had severe weather warnings in Northwest Arkansas where tornado watch is in effect. And in just a few minutes, we're going to share with you uh, a new area that's being outlined by the SPC. Nathan will handle that in just a moment of where the next watch is going to come from. But for right now, Nathan, I'm going to take everyone through a way just to help them stay safe and all right. give them an idea of what's going to come our way this afternoon. First of all, if you want to keep up with the warnings in your area, the THV 11 weather app, download it now. It's free. Toggle on those severe weather warnings and they will fire off in your area. You can also take your phone with you if you have to go to your safe place tonight and you can stream our coverage live. Nathan and I are going to be here all night long keeping you safe when the uh, weather turns bad. It's been mainly over northwest Arkansas where a tornado watch remains in effect until 9 o'clock tonight. And as I said, uh, Nathan's going to outline a new area that is going to include west central Arkansas. Tornado watches are going to cover pretty much the entire state this evening. And the risk is there. Pretty good risk of severe weather. Let me show you that risk right now. It's enhanced or it's a level 3 out of 5 and it's uh, covering up a good part of central Arkansas. This was an update earlier this morning that did include Little Rock, Searcy, Hot Springs, and Mena just meaning there's a greater likelihood of severe weather in this area. We're talking about damaging wind, very large hail, and even the possibility of tornadoes. Need to mention the entire state has a risk of some severe weather for later on tonight and even through the early morning hours tomorrow. It looks like that we're going to have to contend with this for a, quite a while. This is a very slow moving system. Let's break it down for you. A tornado, brief tornado, more likely in the shaded orange area there. Uh, Little Rock, we're kind of on that line, but anywhere in Arkansas could see a tornado tonight if uh, the right uh, ingredients come together. Hail is more of a, of a given here. Big hail. We're talking two inch size tail, which could be golf ball or larger. And this is where we find, uh, say, Batesville, Little Rock, down to Texarkana, Fayetteville, Fort Smith, any of these locations. Large hail is our greatest threat tonight, and winds greater than 60 miles per hour could occur with these thunderstorms. They may start off supercellular, individual, discrete cells. We're expecting them to become a line, and the line would indicate uh, some uh, damaging wind gusts and some hail, and might even have a tornado uh, within that line. As it is currently, most of the bad weather is still to our west northwest affecting northwest Arkansas. Central Arkansas will be a little bit later on tonight. Let's talk about our atmosphere, Nathan. It's pretty ripe for severe weather. Tom, it feels like late April or early May out there with the temperatures shooting up into the upper 70s to lower 80s. You step outside, it's also very humid. And we've seen some breaks in the cloud cover. We do not want to see any more sunshine out there today because that makes the atmosphere more unstable. That adds more storm fuel to the atmosphere. We've got plenty of storm fuel to work with. That's why they saw baseball sized hail with that one cell that developed over Benton County and produced baseball sized hail over the town of Gravit. Here are the temperatures right now. Look at the difference. It's 81 right now in Hot Springs, 80 in Arkadelphia, 80 in Russellville, but they've cooled down to 59 with that rain cooled air moving through Fayetteville. But everybody else is on the warm side, so that does set up the stage for the potential of some strong to severe thunderstorms. And when we look at these dew points, how much moisture there is in the atmosphere, they're also up there. It feels very tropical. So we've got the heat, we've got the moisture in place, and we've got a trigger. I'm going to walk you through here. This is the cape, the storm fuel in place, and also what the radar is expected to look like. First of all, you see the storm fuel, it's on the high to extreme end. So that basically means these storms are going to explode over the region and they're going to climb way up into the atmosphere, producing very strong updrafts. And those updrafts are capable of producing very large hail. Once again, that is the main threat out there today. So let's continue to advance this as you plan out your evening. Most likely a large part of central Arkansas will still be quiet five o'clock. Even around six o'clock, there could be a few cells that try to develop into looks like areas just to the south of the metro. Once again, you can't take this exactly to heart, but we will be watching out for the potential of any isolated cells to pop up ahead of that main line moving from the northwest down to the southeast. So again, 
A large percentage of Arkansas is still quiet around 7 o'clock, but those individual cells, those could be supercell thunderstorms, and those lone cells, we have to watch out very closely because they can feed off the warm and very humid air mass, and they can grow into intense storms, producing damaging wind gusts, very large hail, and maybe even the potential of a tornado. So there's several scenarios we're going to be watching. Those cells down to the south, according to this model information, 8 o'clock, they really become more numerous. And as they become more numerous, the threat starts to shift its way from more of a tornado threat to more of a heavy rain threat as this cluster of storms located over west central Arkansas is expected to merge with that line of storms into north central Arkansas and northwest Arkansas. And it is a slow go. So a lot of us could still be quiet around 9 or 10 o'clock if this model is correct. But along that line, we'll have to watch out for storms still to produce maybe some damaging wind gusts, 60 to 70 miles per hour. And then also we cannot rule out there still could be some embedded tornadoes. So you have to stay weather aware throughout this evening and also even into the early morning hours. We have that one tornado watch that has been posted for northwest and parts of north central Arkansas. I do expect another tornado watch to be posted here in central Arkansas, and that will likely last until probably around midnight, maybe even as late as one o'clock in the morning, yeah. Tom. Yeah, you know, you just got to stay weather aware tonight uh, with the information coming back. We do stand to see our first real severe weather, uh, severe weather event of the year that's going to happen tonight after dark. Uh, we would like to encourage you to have as many ways to receive severe weather information overnight, whether it be a THV 11 app on your phone, NOAA Weather Radio, dust that thing off and make sure the batteries are good. And uh, also make sure that uh, you could call weather call, do weather call, text the word call to 501-376-1111. I'll talk about that at 5 o'clock. I think we're going to get a 5 o'clock newscast in. The question is, do these storms make it over into north central Arkansas into the THV 11 viewing area? Uh, Searcy County, Marshall, you're in the viewing area. Storms are just to your west. There are numerous severe thunderstorm warnings right now with that line. A little farther to the south, we're keeping an eye on west central and southwest Arkansas for that next potential watch, which is going to be coming along here pretty soon. And you can see cells are trying to develop here. There have been a few breaks here, so lots of energy, lots of storm fuel are caped to work with. And uh, given uh, what little wind energy we have, we ha know that it's going to be enough to possibly produce some tornadoes. Let me walk you through the timing. Nathan was pointing it out. Let's walk you through one more time. Five o'clock storms ongoing in northwest Arkansas. We begin to see these cells in southeast Oklahoma, northeast Texas come together. Moving forward an hour, moving through northern Arkansas, these could very well be severe, producing some very big hail, possibly some damaging wind and then by seven o'clock those storms developing in western Arkansas getting a little bit closer. So if this model, if we were to just go along with what this model says, Nathan said it just a moment ago, you really can't hold it to it. Uh, they're going to be a little bit ahead or behind, but we do know that we'll have strong thunderstorms somewhere within west central or even central Arkansas during this time period. This is eight o'clock. Let's take you on forward by 10 o'clock tonight. News time tonight. Uh, it's very likely we have more severe thunderstorms with big hail and damaging wind and uh, you know folks can't rule out a tornado tonight. These storms continue to march to the east ongoing through early tomorrow morning around two o'clock in the morning and then I think we'll finally see those storms get out of the state by the time we hit uh, Friday afternoon. Uh, this could go on for a while and the storms coming up later on tonight through early tomorrow could pose more of the flash flooding risk. The frontal boundary itself there's a little band right through here in central Arkansas. I think that's where the front is. There it is right through here. Uh, once we get that front out of the way, our situation will improve drastically. Uh, again, this is our storm outlook today. Enhanced risk of severe weather, meaning that this area has the best likelihood of seeing more severe thunderstorms. Uh, and so Nathan has a better idea of the timing of these storms. So let's go back to him. Well, Tom, let's take a look at the timing with Max 1, and we'll just blow that up right now because you need to stay weather aware for a long period of time. This is going to be a stormy night, ladies and gentlemen. So expect a lot of lightning, a lot of thunder, and also the potential of some heavy rain that could lead to some areas of flash flooding. Some of you watching us could see easily two to four inches of rain that could cause some flash flooding in poor drainage areas, low lying areas, and want to watch out for those smaller creeks and streams. So here's the timeline we're looking at right now until 10 o'clock for you folks 
over into West Arkansas, Northwest Arkansas and North Central Arkansas. You're dealing with the showers and storms already in Northwest Arkansas, but like I said, it's going to be a slow go. It could be as late as 10 o'clock, but it could end a little bit earlier here in Central Arkansas. We got to be on our guard, stay weather aware probably all the way until 1 o'clock in the morning. And I think it's going to be even later for you folks in South and Southeast Arkansas. You may need to stay weather aware until 4 a.m. The concern right now is the potential of damaging wind gusts, tornadoes, and also very large hail. Then as we go into the overnight hours, the concern will be more of damaging wind gusts along that line, but also we cannot rule out there could still be some tornado warnings even late as 11 o'clock midnight, maybe even 1 a.m going into South and Southeast Arkansas. Let's go over to Storm Track 11 because this is the latest information from the Storm Prediction Center, which is a part of NOAA, and they have a mesoscale discussion on Storm Track 11. If we can pull that up, please, because this is going to be where the latest, I think, tornado watch will be located, and you see it includes a large part of West Central Arkansas, but I think it will include a large part of Central Arkansas, and basically what they're saying is damaging wind threat may be increasing across northern Arkansas, southern Missouri, large hail and tornado threat conditions or tornado threat continues with any discrete storms. Depending on convective trends, a new downstream watch may eventually be needed for parts of western southern Arkansas. So pretty much all of Arkansas will likely have, I think, a new tornado watch as we go throughout the course of the evening. So make sure you have those warning notifications turned on. Stay weather aware because we will likely have a new tornado watch that will be posted back over to Max. Now, once again, here's the breakdown of what we're looking at with storm hazards. The main concern, especially with any supercell thunderstorm, will be for the potential of hail, and it could be destructive hail. It may be the hail the size of tennis ball or even baseballs. Hopefully it's just one or two storms that do that. Hopefully it's none, none of the storms that do that, but we do have the environmental conditions in place for that potential to happen. Also, as the storms collapse or they merge, we could have damaging wind gusts in pockets, 60, maybe as high as 80 miles per hour. Once again, the tornado threat, it is there, but the good news is the strong tornado threat that the Storm Prediction Center was talking about earlier has been allowed to be removed. So we're not looking at the potential of strong tornadoes. Nonetheless, there could still be a brief tornado with a supercell or one that is embedded within the line. If you do get hail, we want to get your reports. We want to get your pictures. Make sure you do it safely, but the best idea is to have something right next to the hail. We get a lot of pictures of hail in people's hands, and that just doesn't really give us a good size comparison. So, you know, have a quarter. Uh, if it's big as a baseball or a ping pong ball size, have that right next to the hail. But once again, do it safely because yeah. hail that size can certainly injure you. Yeah, we don't want you to go outside and pick up a hailstone in the middle of a thunderstorm. No. Wait until after it passes, then take a picture of it. Compare it, like he says, to something else. Hey, real quick, I do want to mention uh, we're going to give it two more minutes, and we've got our newscast at 5 o'clock tonight. Just want to update what's going on in northwest Arkansas. Uh, out of the THV 11 viewing area, there are several severe thunderstorm warnings at this time. Big hail's possible, damaging wind. This initial line moving to the uh, to the east pretty rapidly and will affect, let's say, uh, you got Newton County, Searcy, Stone and Izzard, Baxter, Fulton counties, Boone counties here in the next hour or so. We'll keep it a close eye on these cells developing in southeast Oklahoma. There's Mena, Polk County, Polk County's in our viewing area. So if you live in Mena and Polk County, uh, prepare, be prepared. Make sure, you know, this is a good idea. Make sure your safe place is ready to go. You know, we've talked about what you need in your safe place. Make sure you've got your personal items with you, your medications. Uh, you know, make sure you've got something to cover up your head. A bike helmet makes a great thing. A blanket, get the kids and the pets ready. You know, we're not saying that this is going to be an all out severe weather event, but we want you to be ready when these warnings come about this evening. And I think we're going to get a couple and unfortunately they are going to be overnight tonight and mainly hail is going to be our big threat with these storms as they move to the east. The yellow counties tornado watch at this time till nine o'clock, but 
Tornado watch is going to come along here very soon for a good part of central, west central, and southwest Arkansas. So there, that kind of gives you an idea. Uh, we'll bring Nathan back into the picture here of what we're looking at for the evening hours. Uh, I have a feeling, Nathan, that we'll get at least one newscast in tonight, and then things may go south from there. Yeah, I agree with you, Tom. And also, if we have to break in on regular programming, we'll be streaming live, of course, on Facebook, but also on our THV 11 app. So make sure you have that downloaded and ready to go. And once again, we love to get your reports and pictures, but make sure you do it safely. Right. It could be a long night ahead of us, but hopefully it's just going to be a lot of rain and maybe some gusty winds. But we'll just have to wait and see how everything comes together. And that will be the case going over the next several hours. Yeah. Just stay prepared. Have those phones charged up. Follow us on the THV 11 app. And we're going to take it. Uh, we're going to see you once again here at 5 o'clock tonight. And of course, we'll break in when we have warnings for Nathan Scott. I'm Tom Brandon. We'll see you next time.